Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 of problem 5 that is demo on CNC manual part programming for a turning profile given using Denford Funnel Turning Simulation Software. These are all video tutorials on CNC manual part programming of turning exercises involving grooving and box thread cutting cycle that is G92 using Denford Funnel Turning Simulation Software. And the problem is this. As you see here, for this problem, completely I have explained how the manual part programming has been done for this. Okay, it, how it has to be done for this particular profile. And as you know, as you know here, there are four operations. One is multiple rough turning, one is finishing, one is growing. And the first time we are coming across, uh, coming across threading also. And I have given the spindle speed, feed and all that. Threading and all that you need not give. It is all machine dependent. Okay. Now, as you see here, see here, this uh, particular problem I have already explained. And A, B, C, D, E, F, G have been fed between N10 and N20. That is between P10, Q20 means between N10 and N20. You have the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G in terms of X and Z. You please verify the session 1 and I have clearly given N10, G01, X10 means tool moving to A. X, G01, X12, Z-1 tool moving to B in that way. See here, this using G71, it will do this particular part. But after G71, after G71 is over, that is when it gets over here, okay, at N20, G01, Z-55, when once it comes to G, the rough turning is over. That means it would have left an alliance of 0 0.1. 0 0.1, as I have given here, U.1, W.1, it would have left an alliance of 0 0.1 on X and 0 0.1 on Z. That means this will be, you will have an alliance of 0 0.1 here, 0 0.1 here. Actually, this 12 will be 12.2. And even this also, if it is 20 here, it is 19.9. That 0 0.1 will be removed during finishing. And also I have told you in the last problem only, last session only, to do the finishing, one simple thing is G70 is the finishing cycle between the block numbers, that is P10, Q20, that is between the block numbers N10 and N20, that is, it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is fed between N10 and N20, you do the finishing. That means during this G70, P10, Q20, F25 means with a feed of 25, it will remove only the alliances left 0.1 on X and 0.1 on Z. And after that, you are getting the exact profile. Okay, exact profile to the exact dimension and the finish will be ultimate. Okay, now, once you do that, the tool will go to the home position. Now you see here, this is a grooving tool. I have told you, the grooving tool will, uh, that, that, that is grooving tool is the third tool and it has a speed of 800 RPM and all that. Okay, and as you see here, it comes rapidly, G00, X13, Z20 means it is 17 plus 20. That means it sits here, it is X12, 1 mm, little away it will go, it will be sitting here. Now it is X9, it is the final diameter what you, what you want. W minus 0 because, W minus 0 I have because here I want the width is 3 mm only. The tool width is also 3 mm, okay, tool width is also 3 mm and groove width is also 3 mm, that is why W minus 0. P100 means, 100 by cons, 0.1 means, radial depth of cut every time it will be 0.1 mm. That means diametrical reduction will be 0.2 mm. Q1500 will be waste here because the width of the groove is only 3 mm. That is why here it will not be of any use because it will cut only for 3 mm. Uh, width of the groove is also 3 and width of the cutter is also 3. Okay. In that way, this grooving is done. Now, importantly, we will come to the fourth tool. Fourth tool is this is 0404 and X14Z2. It comes rapidly. This is a threading tool. It comes rapidly to 14.2. Did you follow? X12 it is 14. Little 2 mm away. 2 mm away from the earth. And 12 it is this. So 14 it will 14. And 2 mm away from the workpiece. So that it does not collide. It will come rapidly to that position. And it does the that is threading part G92 X12 Z minus 17 Z minus 17 means the threading has to be done to a distance of 17 mm up till here the threading has to be done even if you give 18 nothing will happen because anyway groove is there even if you give 19 nothing will happen I have given 17 F1.75 is the picture see here that I will take from here 
this is nominal diameter is 12. Can you see here? The nominal diameter here is 12. For 12, you have to look to the table. 12, you look to the table. The pitch should be 1.75. Core diameter is 9.89, 9.853. Standard, that is pitch dimension and the core diameter for standard thread profile. Okay, be careful about that. You have to look to this table, 1.75 and 9.853, given the nominal diameter. Now, now, the nominal diameter is 12. In that way, I have taken that. Now, you see here, here, you see here, 12 I have given. 12, from 12, I go on reducing. Now, 12, I go on reducing. It's 11.8, 11.6, 11.4, 11.2, 11, 10.8, 10.6, 10.4, 10.2, 10, and up to 9.8. That core diameter, 9.8. In that way, it, it does... Uh, once 12, then 11.5, one more trial, uh, that is 11, 12 to 11.8 means the depth of cut will be 0.1. Every time it cuts by 0.1 till you get x 9.8, okay, the core diameter is 9.8. In that way, you are getting the maximum possible finish for the threading also. Did you follow? That is, looking at the table only, you have to arrive at this x 9.8. Okay, now after this, we'll... Uh, Use now switch to Denford Funnel Turning Simulation Software given the following commands under DOS prompt. You do all this, okay. You if you click on the DOS prompt as given here, you are going to the simulation software, funnel turning simulation software. Okay. Now, as you see here, I have look here, I have already see carefully, I have already fed the software that is in the funnel turning simulation software. I have already fed this. That is feeding is your Fn function that is Fp. Just click on this. And if you do, do I have already uh, saved the term of 05 ton BGFNC. In that way, if you do this, uh, if you click on this, you are getting the program in the Funuk turning simulation software. This has to be executed. Okay, this has to be executed. For this, you have to be careful now. Now I have done whatever program I've done. You see carefully. See here. See here. This here, rough turning cycle G71. Tool 1 is there. Correct? No. Tool 1 is there. Okay. Rough turning cycle has been done. That is between N10 and N20. Can you see that? N10 and N20 rough turning cycle, cycle is there. Then tool 2, uh, that is G70. Finish turning is there. Then tool 3, that is grooving is there. Okay. And that is G75 cycle. And in the same way, G92, this will do the box threading cycle. This also is there. Okay. This is done. Then finally, it goes to the home position. Now, I'll show you the simulation of this. Carefully, you'll see here. Now, once you do this, once everything has been entered here, whatever I've given in session one, you look to the program, enter it in this Funuk turning simulation software. Okay. Here you enter. Now, next you do function that is F9 you take, F9. First you check for the syntax. Your CNC program should be okay. If you have done correctly, you say it, your CNC program is okay. Then F9, you see here, dry run you do. Dry run if you do, clearly uh, the simulation will be, this diameter will be exactly as per X22 and this length will be 70, okay? Whatever if it is, uh, if, if you have given 90 here, it would have been bigger here. In that way, dry run if you do, Actual dimension of the workpiece is simulated here. Okay. Then function F9 you do. F1, F9. You do this run program. If you do, you are executing the run program. Did you follow? This is why if you want the program to be bigger, what I suggest is your function F10. Simulate only you do. Simulate only you do. Okay. Simulate only you do. You just see here. Okay, now simulate only. That is the screen has become, a edit screen is not there. It is only simulation screen. Now function F9. Now what I'll do is run program I'll do. Carefully keep watching this. See here, I have given the cut increment is 1 mm. Cut increment is 1 mm means diametrically it re reduces every time by 2 mm. Now it is here 19 CN 17 mm, 19 to 17, 2 to 2 mm, it will reduce. Okay, can you see this all of you? See here, it is X15, X13, 
Ah, see here, 12.1. You see, Ali is left on that 16.1. Okay, 22.1. And all that you observe, the alliance left. Now, one minute. See here. Now, as you see here, the tooling is improper. Deliberately, I have taken a tool in this way. Now, I will teach you here, set tooling you do. Set tooling you do. I have taken one, two, three, four tools now. Tool one you see here. Since the tools are not proper here, set tooling you do. Tool one, roughing tool is okay. Okay, enter it. Tool two, you see here, something else has come. Now, using the arrow keys left and right, uh, arrow key, you just see your finishing tool. You keep pressing the left button or left key or, uh, or the right key till finishing tool has come. Finishing tool, left, tool 2 is okay. In the same way, tool 3 you go, enter it, and see here, tool 3 should be grooving tool. It is 2 mm grooving tool. It is 3 mm grooving tool. You just say tool 3 is also fixed. Next, you go for tool 4. It should be a threading tool. So we have some other uh, boring tool and all that. Don't worry about that. You now press, uh, click pressing this so that you get a threading tool. Threading tool you want. Now you do this. Okay, threading tool has come. Tool 4. Now you go, okay, function, F9, simulate only, function, F9, run program. Now you do here. All the things will be proper. Okay. Now you see here. Now the tool has to be, I deliberately see here. I have not adjusted the tools. You, if you have not adjusted the tools, you will get a problem into this. Now tool 1 should be a roughing tool. Tool 2 should be a finishing tool. Tool 3 should be 3 mm grooving tool only. And tool 4 should be threading tool. Now you see, this is a roughing tool. And as you see here, every time, uh, the cut increment is 1 mm. In that way, every time, it will be reducing. That you see here, 12.1, 16.1, and all that. Alliance left on that. Uh, alliance left on X, and all that you have seen. Now, roughing tool is going to the foam position. Now, the finishing tool will come. Finishing tool will come, and it will do the finish. It will exactly, that alliance only, it will be removing. It will perfectly, minus 40. You see here, minus 50, minus 55, and all that. Finishing tool also has done its uh, work. And it is going to the form position. Now you see the grooving tool. Grooving tool of 3 mm width. You see it. Clearly it has come. Radially every time I have given 100 microns. 0.1 will be the uh, radial de depth of cut every time. Diametrically it reduces by 0.2. Now the threading tool has come. You see it. Here, here you see. 16, 11.8. Whatever I have given in the program. 11.6. 11.4. It should go on till 9.8. 11.2, 11, 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10.8, 10.6, 10.4, 10.2, 10 and 9.8. After that, it will go. Now, you see here, beautifully, the threading also has been done. Okay, threading also has been done. If you want a function... F9, if you want the 3D view of this, that also you do. Okay, now as I said here, here you have to, uh, the, program, the problem is, first thing is, you see here, function F9, sorry, function F10, in the edit and simulation screen, here you have to enter, okay, did you follow? Here you have to enter the program, what I give one, and you have to, uh, that is, once you have entered the program, as I have said, you have to check for syntax, that is a dry run, and then run the program. In that way, the whatever you have done using manual part programming, the same profile, you will be getting it in the screen. Okay. Now, we have come to the end of session 2, where I have clearly described how the, uh, that is, simulation has to be shown to the examiner and all that. Thank you very much for viewing. Okay. We'll continue this in the next sessions. Okay. This problem 5 is over now at this stage. Thank you very much viewers. Thank you.